Obviously, I wouldn't be a miss if I didn't mention my friend Lou Javis up in here. I always feel, you know, that he is the last member of our band. No matter how many, um, you know, musicians we have on stage, if we have three musicians, he'll be the fourth member. So now we have six musicians, he's the seventh member. So that's how I look at it, you know. This is a tribute that's been happening for the last several years. It's kind of taken a life of its own, you know, to the point that we can bring this show on the road with these fantastic Thank you guys for making it happen. You know, it's like every city that we go to, it's a brand new experience for us. We, we try to put that Woo! brand new energy into reviving these songs that are wrote literally 18, 15, 16 years ago. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just a filter, I'm just a conduit, you know? Like, I literally dedicate these songs to hip hop. You know, that was my love letter to him. Because truth be told, you know, like I was born out of the 90s where I just loved battle raps and hard, hard beats. And that's what still inspires me, really. But it was like a break from that. You know, I was like, hey, let me go back to like straight up poetry and not worry about writing complex rhyme schemes or trying to rap faster than anyone else. Or, you know what I'm saying? It was more about just expressing yourself. And that kind of found a platform when I met this guy who had a close relationship to all these samples, right? So legalities aside, he had a very close... <laughs> no, that's all part of it. So part of it. He had a close relationship to his records. We didn't know about, you know, keys and tuning and all that, but we just made what sounded good to us, you know, so... Big up to you guys. So that was part four. We got two more to finish from the trilogy. Spin Master 81.